you've probably heard it's all about the data. Uh, the data being new fuel, data being new oil. Uh, however, you have to be very careful with the data, especially because the data contains, informa contains information on your customers. So, at Extreme, we value our customers uh, and their customers, data privacy and security, and we put great emphasis on securing that data. The Extreme Cloud IQ platform was the first major cloud management networking platform to obtain the ISO 27001 certification for its information security management systems. So what does that mean to you? Uh, a lot of cloud-based platforms will claim data security and privacy. However, they will often piggyback on what the cloud platform provider is using or is being certified for. So for example, they will provide references from Amazon rather than from themselves, or from Google or from Microsoft, again, rather than themselves. And what that means is the software stack that they've developed, that they maintain and support running on top of that platform, actually hasn't undergone any of those certifications and checks, which means while the data storage, the physical storage and management of the storage may be secure, how that data is handled in transit might not be because it hasn't undergone any of these uh, certifications. At Extreme, we've made sure that not only the underlying platform is secure, but our software, our software development processes, support processes, uh, how we handle data as an organization is secure and complies with the ISO 27001, and no other vendor can currently claim that. Furthermore, the Extreme Cloud IQ platform is equipped with features that enables our customers to address full compliance with the European General Data Protection Regulation. And there's two things that come into play here. One is, according to GDPR, a network user has the right to be forgotten, which means they have the right to request all the data that we have on them to be deleted. And this comes down to our partners and customers because you, know, you are the operators of their networks. So we give you the tools to quickly expose the data that a particular user uh, has in the platform or that you have in the platform on them and be able to delete that data on demand. And the second thing is you're able to export all the data on all the user sessions uh, for that particular user and share it with them because that is the second part that according to GDPR you have to provide. So we give you those tools in the platform uh, for you to use. In addition, the Extreme Cloud IQ provides logging and auditing tools to track these actions, so actions of the administrators, uh, so our customers can better document them, track them, and know what's going on. So we provide full transparency in what's going on in your network. So where, does, where is that important? Uh, in scenarios where you would maybe open a support ticket and our support team would ask for access to your platform, you would have a full audit log of what they've done. Or if you're a customer and you're participating or buying a management as a service, a wireless as a service type of solution from your partner, uh, you will have full visibility on what they're doing when they're configuring, managing, and troubleshooting your network. Uh, and finally, if you're in the partner support organization, again, you will be able to see what the customer was doing or what your colleagues were doing uh, in that deployment. So we provide full transparency in who is doing what on that platform. In terms of deployment options, Extreme Cloud IQ actually comes in three different flavors. Um, public Cloud, and the benefit of the public cloud is you don't have to provide any infrastructure, you're not worried about uh, running any servers, you're not worried about backing up the storage, you're not, uh, you're not concerned with redundancy because all of that is being provided for you. You just consume the service. Then we have the private cloud option, uh, which is actually very good for two different types of scenarios. One would be a global enterprise that's very concerned with data privacy and security and actually has to have data within their premises so they can deploy Extreme Cloud IQ on top of their data center. And the other one is managed service providers that want to leverage the platform uh, for providing things like wireless or management as a service, but they don't necessarily want to use the public cloud. They want to provide it on top of their own infrastructure. So an MSP or managed service provider can actually deploy uh, their private cloud solution on top of their infrastructure because it's already there probably. And 
The final option is the local cloud, which is basically all the software components uh, deployed in a one virtual machine, which is there for very small environments. Um, and its purpose is uh, deployments where the cloud as such isn't an option, either because of poor WAN connectivity or because of uh, local laws or data privacy and security considerations where even a local cloud uh, or a cloud within the country is not something that's deployed very often or used by the organization. The Extreme Cloud IQ local cloud option is an on-premises version and it's typically de deployed in our customer's private network. Uh, unlike the private RDC, which is either deployed in an MSP environment and then the access is given to the customers uh, via software as a service type of deployment, the customer will be responsible for hosting the local cloud solution. They will have to provide the servers, the redundancy, the backup capabilities, the restore, data store uh, backup, and data, data store restore uh, capabilities on their own. The appliance can manage up to 5,000 devices, such as AP switches um, or branch routers. And it's ideal for small and maybe mid-sized enterprises who want to use the features of Extreme Cloud IQ, uh, but they don't necessarily want or they can't afford to, uh, due to whatever reasons, uh, go to a public or a private cloud deployment. So we do cater for them. We have all three options, and we are currently the only cloud networking vendor that gives you all three options as a customer, and you decide what you want to do and how much effort do you want to put into managing the infrastructure, uh, or do you maybe want to leave that management part of the infrastructure to extreme and just use our services for the public cloud, which is what the majority of our customers does.